This video is being posted to YouTube on what would have been actor Robert Urich's 75th birthday if he were still with us. Sadly, he is not. More on that in just a bit, but first, let me spend a couple of minutes celebrating this wonderful actor's life. Here's a fun fact. Robert Urich played football at the same college where Burt Reynolds had played football a few years earlier. Yes, that Burt Reynolds. And it was Burt who encouraged Robert to move across the country to Los Angeles and pursue a career in acting. According to TV producer Aaron Spelling, it was Burt who actually convinced him to allow Robert to read for a part in a TV show called SWAT. As Officer Jim Street, Robert was about as cool as they come. And can I just state for the record that SWAT has one of the best TV themes ever? Yep, I can still hear that music in my head right now. After SWAT ended, Robert moved on to another hit television show with Vegas, which also starred the legendary Tony Curtis, the beautiful Phyllis Davis, and during the show's first season, Judy Landers hung around as well. Yep, without a doubt, Robert was a pretty big TV star during the 70s. And by the time that Vegas was on television, Robert was already married to his wife actress Heather Menzies. They had tied the knot in 1975. This marriage was not Robert's first. He had been married previously, but Heather turned out to be the love of his life, his partner to the very end. During the 80s, Robert went on to star in another pretty darn big TV series titled Spencer for Hire. Like I said, the hits just seemed to be non-stop for this guy. But for Heather, on the other hand, things started to slow down a bit so that she could spend more time at home. That's because she and Robert made the decision to adopt three kids, two girls and a boy. Anyone who has ever been a parent knows that sacrifices are required and it would seem, at least to me from the outside looking in, that Heather made the choice to focus on her family. That choice became even more important when Robert announced in 1996 that he had been diagnosed with synovial sarcoma, a rare form of cancer that attacks soft tissue. Over the course of the next half decade or so, there would be many ups and downs for the Yurk family. At one point, they believed that they had found a drug that was going to work wonders, but sadly, it did not. And in 2002, Robert passed away from the disease. At that time, Heather established the Robert Urich Foundation, and according to Wikipedia, she spent a lot of her time during her later years devoted to the organization that raises money for cancer research and support for cancer patients. Interestingly, two of Robert and Heather's kids ended up working in the field of medicine. What a guy. What a life. All right, folks, now it's your turn. Please share your memories in the comments section. And while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I would be honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.